look an absolute mess. Ugh, go away, Alistair. No, no. Is that any way to act after picking a fight with all of heaven and dooming everyone you love? <laughs> I have enough on my mind without hearing your sadistic idea of a joke, asshole. Who's joking? <laughs> You have a captive audience downstairs waiting to hear what kind of inspiring performance you have planned next. Ugh, I can't. How can I face them after failing them all so hard? They came here to be saved, and all I gave them was more pain. I'm just as bad as the cruelest overlord in hell. Maybe worse. At least they don't go around giving false hope. Well, I never expected to see such a miserable display of self-loathing from you. Oh, fuck you, Alistair. All you do is stand there smiling while you watch us struggle and fail. I don't know how you can enjoy all the suffering so much. <laughs> Just because you see a smile, don't think you know what's going on underneath. A smile is a valuable tool, my dear. It inspires your friends, keeps your enemies guessing, and ensures that no matter what comes your way, you're the one in control. But I'm not. I'm the farthest thing from in control. The person I trust most has been lying to me for years. Heaven refuses to listen. Even if they did, I can't prove the hotel works. Adam has an invincible exorcist army pointed right at my doorstep, and there's nothing I can do about any of it! I know something you don't know. Huh? Those big scary angels are not quite as indestructible as they seem. What are you talking about? Just that you and your little band of misfits might stand more of a chance than you think. How? I'll do anything. Anything? Then let's make a deal. You... You want my soul? Your soul? No. All I need from you is one itty-bitty favor. What's a favor between friends? I won't hurt anyone for you. Who's asking? One favor at a time of my choosing where you harm no one. In return, I tell you what I know. Do we have a deal? Deal. you do? Let her go. Baggy, stop. What? No, Charlie, please tell me you didn't. I made a deal with Alistair. Charlie. Oh, calm down. She still owns her soul. He gave me info that can save the hotel, but we're going to need help. The angels can be defeated, and Carmilla is the key. What? Carmilla Carmine? She killed an exorcist in the last extermination. She knows how they can be harmed. But I, I didn't even know that was possible. If you did, would you have told me? Charlie, I... <laughs> I need you to go to her. Convince her to teach us. If she can, we might have a chance. With just the seven of us? No, we're... <sighs> we're gonna need numbers, too. And I know just who can help. As long as Charlie can be her normal, charming self. What's that you said about smiles? Good girl. Charlie, can we talk about this? We can talk later. Right now, we have a job to do. You with us? <sighs> oh, uh, Alistair and Charlie just left like they were running away from their responsibilities. Should we be alarmed? No. We have a plan, but it includes defending ourselves against the angels. Uh, are you fucking high? They can be killed. Yeah, that knife lady, Camaro car fight, killed one. Wait, you knew about this? Oh, yeah. I told Boss about it months ago. He what? What? They say insane shit all the time. How was I supposed to know this one was true? Bank accounts are a scam created by the shadow government. See? <sighs> What's important now is that we're gonna have a fight on our hands. Look, this hotel's about to become the most dangerous place in hell, and we... I can't guarantee your safety anymore. I still believe in Charlie's dream. I know this place can work. But none of you signed up for this. I'm gonna go learn how we can fight back. But when I come home... Mm -hmm.